No, we need three out of three. Yeah. That's cool. All right. Okay, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the City of West Miami Planning <coughs> and Zoning Board meeting of February 23rd, 2016. Members present are Diana, Diana Rio. Here. Hibito Gonzalez. Here. Myself, Joe Paz, Chairman. Uh, also, pres excuse our Eugenio Gonzalez and member Alvaro Lurido are both excused. Also present is Juan Pena, Planning and Zoning Director, and Jose Villalobos, City Attorney. Okay. Good evening. First order of business on your agenda the, from all business is the approval of the minutes from December 22nd, 2015. Okay, and um, it's real. Zibeto uh, Gonzalez was um, excused that particular meeting. So it's just you and myself. Just motion. Motion. They need a to call to be able to I'd make a motion to approve. Okay, I'll second that motion. On the motion, Diana Rio? Yes. I vote yes. And yeah, Zibeto Gonzalez? I you weren't here, but you're going to approve. I want to but you can um, I approve okay sure. yes sir I'm afraid that you would have to wait until the next meeting because uh, you only have two and uh, the next member was not present at the last meeting oh to approve the minutes uh, right so okay. you cannot approve the minutes with uh, three members you have the unique quorum all right then we'll um, we'll take that up on the next meeting then on the March meeting. On the March meeting. Next item. Uh, next item is new business public hearing agenda item number one. Property address is 6246 Southwest 8th Street, VKD Inc., Cafe de Arte Corporation. Applicant is requesting a special use permit to allow cafeteria restaurant use in the commercial building uh, provided for storage and administrative office. The whichever one is going to talk on behalf of the business. Hi. Hi. Good evening. I'm Dario Mazzei. I am the owner of uh, Vicky uh, Corporation. Can you state your address, too, please? Yes. Uh, my address is 6254 Southwest 8th Street. My address, my company address. Okay. But uh, the property address uh, is 6246 Southwest 8th Street. It's one of the unit at the shopping center Plaza Romana, Piazza Romana. Okay. Okay, uh, well, uh, my tenant is applying for the variant as he was as a cafeteria, a restaurant that was already in place, but for the bad management oh, yeah. of the prior tenant, without my knowledge, <laughs> It mm -hmm. happened that the, the, the occupational license was uh, denied. Revoked. Revoked. Okay. Was revoked. So uh, the place has been emptied, and then I rented to a new tenant that, uh, you know, is, um, he has the interest in doing a cafeteria ristorante and know what the other tenant uh, was wrongly doing. It mostly was a bar, in effect. Okay. So the idea is to open from uh, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock in the morning and close at 11 o'clock, max 12 o'clock, as all the cafeteria restaurante and non further, uh, you know, uh, behind the, the 12 o'clock in the night. Mm -hmm. So uh, he has a menu that uh, he showed me before, uh, you know, I give him the promise of the lease after you decide uh, about this. Uh, to reinstate that cafeteria ristorante and he has a menu, he presents a menu. I don't know if you have in front of you the menu. Uh, no, I don't believe we do. Uh, yeah, it's part of your package. Is it? There's a menu in there in the... The gentleman, yes. After the application... Ah, 
have it. No. Is it there? No, we got a site plan of the tables and stage. But no menu, but... What? But you, see you can continue. <laughs> no, it's okay. Yeah. And so the idea is just that uh, I am uh, renting to the gentleman the because he has a, a other activity, and he has an advertising company. Well, he will uh, the, the will uh, tell you about his uh, background, and uh, is a, a more reliable person to do this kind of business than the other okay. person that was before. So, uh, it's almost ten years has been uh, uh, ten or more, maybe fifteen, fourteen years as cafeteria restaurant. The bad luck mm -hmm. that this uh, later tenant act in a, sorry. in a wrongly way. Okay. Okay, Mr. Penna, I'm not following this. Uh, they, why, what was the reason why the um, previous uh, occupational license was uh, revoked or suspended? <coughs> the previous license was revoked because the previous owner of the business, not of the, no, me. not of the uh, building, of, of the, the business, building. was uh, selling uh, hard liquor and there was also illicit uh, uh, drugs being sold in, in the establishment. Okay. But for the record, neither the applicant nor the uh, owner of the property were involved in any no, of that. No, they were not. Okay. <coughs> and um, I see the site plan includes a um, stage for entertainment. Um, can yourself or your applicant uh, briefly describe what the intent... Uh, uh, I see it has a stage. Yeah, is the, this stage, like a the, the, the stage, I don't know if you will take it out. He didn't do anything because he already spent a lot of money to do this, uh, this uh, variant. Right, but yeah, I, my so I guess the stage maybe will go, I don't know, no idea. My it question is, uh, like, is this going to have uh, live entertainment? I don't bands? think so, because we will, I don't think so. No, no, no. Hey, Luis, Mr. Luis, the stage. Is uh, there? Is in the picture? Uh, yes, uh, yes. You have, sir. Okay. You can. You, go wait, wait. you cannot uh, talk from there. You have to go to the podium. Uh, yeah. yeah. I don't know really. The stage was there because the person that was before was doing a, a live entertainment. You know, it was mm -hmm. a, a restaurant cafeteria with live entertainment. The things that the the, the prior uh, tenant pass the ordinance. Nobody realizes it. Me, I am not working full time because I had the surgery two years ago, so mm -hmm. I am not anymore in the shopping center all the time. That is a shopping center. As like a 15 space between office, no, more than 15, 16 space, uh, 19, uh, see, 10 store and nine uh, offices. So I couldn't, in any way, in the night, uh, I was okay. at home. So I didn't uh, know what was going on over there. Really, we should have known would there be the police of West Miami. <laughs> because if something like that happened, it didn't happen overnight. Happened because little by little, this person, we're talking about always the prior and order, right. build up a clientele that stay late in the night, like they told me, until 3, 4 o'clock in, in the morning. They okay. couldn't do it. By the ordinance, I think he should have uh, closed around uh, 12, 1 o'clock. So the police should have done a report. If, he, if I had a report from the police for, an, uh, for something uh, you know, that was going on, non in the ordinance of the city of West Miami, I would have uh, properly you know, attacked the tenant with my lawyer and, uh, you know, a, a okay. But it didn't happen. So now we are in a situation where the store is closed, 
this gentleman who want to reopen. Okay, we, we, we understand that. Uh, if the gentleman can come up, and yeah. uh, I'm just curious, and I'm sure the board is, to know what is a business model is. Uh, is it a restaurant, nightclub? Uh, no, you know, not nightclub. Because I, if, write, and I specifically will, will write in the lease. No nightclub, but no business okay. after 12 o'clock. Uh, with the ordinance that Mr. Pena explained to me and give to you. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, you're welcome, uh, Senor. Mr. Pena, can you translate uh, sure. for the record? Okay. Uh, mi nombre es Luis Barona. Eh, Su dirección. Mi dirección es 16504 South West 59 Terras, Miami, Florida 33193. Uh, sir, let me, uh, let me stop you there. He has to translate what you're saying. That so, would you speak uh, softly and a little bit slower? Louder, slower. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, como decía, mi dirección es 16504 South West, 59 Terras. My address is 16504 South West. Miami, Florida, 33193. Que cae? 59 Terras. 59 Terras, Miami, Florida. Okay. Um, El objetivo de, op de operar este local es como una cafetería restaurante. The objective okay. is to operate the business as a cafeteria restaurant. Bajo las ordenanzas de la ciudad de West Miami. Under the city of West Miami's ordinances. Ese es el objetivo principal de la operar este local. This is the principal object uh, ob uh, objective to operate the, the business. ¿Tiene alguna pregunta? Uh, any questions you have as far as... Okay, I yeah, have a question. The two cop uh, license, is that for beer and wine or for... Two COP is uh, beer and wine consumption on premises. Okay, beer and... Only serve with meals. Just beer and wine. That's correct. Okay, <coughs> I, I hey, thought it was liquor. But Señor Barona, usted va a aplicar por la, la licencia de alcohol y, y de cerveza y, y vino. Es correcto. That's correct. Okay. So, Mr. Peña, can I clarify? Um, the work that is here now, was that permitted? Or a portion of it, was it permitted? My, the basis of my question is, was this approved already for like life safety and... and that fire? would have to go again through life safety inspection once the, okay. once the occupation is applied for. But all that I'm looking at here is what is there now. That's what exists uh, existing. Okay. Would having live entertainment, uh, a stage, whether this size or whatever other size, would that require a different license <coughs> from the city? No. No. So he could have it. If this gets approved, he could have live entertainment there, it, as long as it's indoors, not spilling out to the outside? That's correct, as long as uh, if it's approved. If it's approved, right. And he's got to uh, provide a detailed map of the layout and interior space by the registered engineer or architect? Correct. The floor plan registered by a registered architect or engineer. That, that is very difficult to determine the size of the space and the location of chairs and, and other objects that are part of the... You can't just jam 11 tables in there if they don't fit. Uh, every 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 table and chair requires a, a certain amount of space. But we don't have that right now, right? No, that that's just what was in the business at the time. Right. That will have to go through the again once we apply. Then once uh, he's approved for the use, then he has to apply with Miami-Dade County Fire Department for an inspection from them, and they determine the space. Uh, what what a lot of space could be yeah. used for capacity? Does he need a minimum amount of seats to have the two COP license? No, there is no minimum. There is no minimum, so he could have the only requirement is that COP. you must sell meal with. It. Okay. And how many seats are there now? Eh, señor Verona, cuántos sillas hay en el? Cuarenta y nueve es lo que está. 49 is what's in the business now. But not, not necessarily what the fire department's allowing. We don't know that. We don't know that yet. Okay, any further discussion? And uh, 
Okay. Well, I'm reading uh, the recommendations by city staff. These are uh, these recommendations come from again the previous tenant that was operating the business not like it should have been. So that's what uh, why we uh, have added the the outdoor of the patrons not hanging around the parking lot. It does back up to a residential neighborhood. So does the, the the parking lot must have required outdoor lighting per city ordinance? It does not have. It does. We just have to measure it to make sure it meets the requirements. And Mr. Ben, out of curiosity, I guess it has no bearing on this um, this case. But is that parking lot in the rear owned by the city? No, it's owned by the the app, the the owner, K okay. uh, v, v Katie. Wasn't there one there that was owned by the city at one, one well, time? A portion of that parking lot was owned by the city years ago, and the city sold it off, and they built duplex. Okay. Uh, I knew there was something like that, and that's why I asked. Okay. All right. Any uh, further questions from the board? Comments? Yeah, the second floor is occupied by offices. They're all offices. So the variance here is for the use. For the use, the special use. Okay. Anything that has to do with restaurants, automobile shops, they're not automatic permitted uses. They have to come before the board. Okay. It is a public hearing, so you do have to open it. Oh. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and open the public hearing now. If any members from the audience uh, wish to... Um, speak on behalf of this item one way or another uh, you may approach the uh, podium for the record we sent out notices to 500 radius feet around the property okay i gather nobody wishes to speak uh, on behalf of this matter from the audience so i can close the public hearing okay the public hearing is now closed and um well, it's a restaurant, right? Correct. That's what it is. We got plenty of restaurants um, here in the city. The other, the other part of the application is the signage that is on the card. That's that window screening that uh, we no longer allow. Right. Right. Okay. So I need an up and down on that. Okay, but that's not a public hearing, though. That's part of the application. Okay. If they right. submit it with the application, it's part of the application. All right. Any? No, it's uh, that, that's your recommendation at the bottom, right? That's correct. Anybody wish to make a motion? If this, uh, sorry, before we make a motion, okay. I have another question. Mm -hmm. So okay, right these ahead. are, what I'm looking at here is, this, this. It, it's an obscuring of the existing glass. glass. Right. Correct. La, la, is, is an entire la área negra que enseña en la foto esa es, es, se ve, no se ve para adentro pero se ve para afuera sí es un cristal es, es un cristal ahumado es un cristal ahumado o es un screen que se lo pone cristal ah como un screen sí it's a screen that's placed on the glass I although it's you know it's beautiful images I would not be looking at that favorably I would like to just see the name of the place and if there's enough space then you know the little I guess these are the logos of the of the business but remove any of the black all, all of the black screens all of these images um, just leave the logos if there's enough space mm -hmm. and the name with individual letters Okay, so in other words, yeah, to be able to see inside the uh, yes. establishment from the exterior. Yeah, we don't allow the, yes. the whole s glass screened in like it. The, the La Junta está uh, indicando que ellos no permiten 
eh, eh, tapar el cristal completo que eso, si quiere poner los logos lo puede poner pero no tapar el cristal completo no hay ningún problema no hay problema ok, you wanna state that in the form of a motion with well, any we other can, possible we could probably use conditions I mean, if we follow the same um, considerations and recommendations by the by uh, the planning and zoning department we can probably just make a motion to follow these uh, recommendations okay because it, it's withdrawing the proposed window screen for the storefront so you want to go ahead and make the motion then yeah I make the motion to go ahead and uh, are you making the motion uh, pardon me mr. chair are you making the motion with the recommendation of uh, by uh, staff? by staff yes okay are they listed in the as listed in the in the okay Okay, we don't have to read those for the record or state them for the record. I would read it for the record, sir, since uh, we're making a record for this. Okay, Mr. Gonzalez, you want to read that for the record? Uh, well, go ahead. Uh, may I well, add a, or throw out there to add another condition that states that no music or entertainment to to be on the exterior, not in the parking lot, not in the front? Yes, very much so. Okay, I would like to add that. No exterior music. Right. Okay, that's already listed though, right? No music or loud conversations in the parking lot. Right, music or entertainment, or I would like to parking add. Parking lot slash exterior. Have, you know, a guitar player, although great, but, you know, I would I would like to keep that inside the venue, not outside. No habrá ningún tipo de música fuera ni adentro, así que no voy a ser por el Okay. We have, to, we have to understand, and of course the applicant has to understand, that uh, this particular place was closed for some violation of precisely the, the code that we're talking about. Correct. <coughs> that uh, this is, of course, uh, it would be very strictly enforced. Que le, el abogado le está explicando que lo están de, de eh, puntuando todas las condiciones porque como el lugar fue cerrado por otro eh, inquilino que no, no siguió las regulaciones y, y mayormente estas eran las violaciones que estaba haciendo constantemente en el parqueo. Yo entiendo como perfectamente. I understand. Okay. So the applicant would be on notice that uh, that would be very, very forcefully enforced, enforced because of what uh, the history that we have in that particular place. <coughs> okay. Mr. Gonzalez, would you care to proceed with your motion? I make a motion to uh, pass the this um, recommendation for approval recommendation for approval with the following conditions that we maintain all patrons inside the property with no outdoor consumption of alcohol no loitering in or around the parking lot areas no music or loud conversations in the parking lots parking lot must have required outdoor lighting per city ordinance owner to provide a detailed map of layout of the interior space by a registered engineer or architect and provide maximum occupancy not to exceed the allowed by the Miami-Dade Fire Department, restrict the entertainment hours, and lastly withdraw the proposed window screening for, all, for the storefront. El layout, okay. ya usted lo tiene del interior del, del local. Sí, pero tiene que, eh, lo que le está indicando el, el miembro de la Junta es que tiene que ser por un arquitecto, un ingeniero que eh, coja el espacio y determine cuánto cabe ahí adentro legalmente. Tengo entendido que los bomberos tienen esa estipulación y por eso es que la... Por eso, a la vez que usted aplique, que se la pruebe el uso, usted va y aplica con el condado y ellos le dicen cuántas personas pueden tener dentro del... Muy bien. Okay. And one more condition I'd like to what go right ahead. What time? There was no music, the no music and entertainment. No exterior outside. entertainment. Right. No music or entertainment <coughs> on the, the rear or at the area. front of the property. Second. Okay, I would second that motion. Um, on the motion, Diana Rio. Yes. Ibeto Gonzalez. Yes. And I vote yes. Ahora el segundo eh, audiencia es en marzo uh, frente a la comisión de la ciudad. Muy bien.
Yeah, March 17 before the City Commission. Next item on your agenda is variance hearing agenda item number two, property address 6291 Southwest 16 Terrace, Alexander Delgado and Nadia Valdez. Uh, Good, night. Good night. Good night, sir. Applicant is requesting a variance to continue the existing rear building line of the house to the new addition presently at 11 feet 3 inches, where the 15 feet setback is required by ordinance. The property has 7,200 square feet. And the applicant is requesting a variance for the addition. Uh, just to give you a little bit of story, uh, as far as the what occurred on this property, in my memorandum, the property back in 1970 uh, was uh, permitted to to have an outdoor screen area porch. And at some point in, in the 70s, they also requested a permit to enclose the that area with uh, jealousy windows and block CBS block wall. Subsequent to that, in 75, that was upgraded, and a, another addition was added to the property uh, for an outdoor terrace uh, just east of the addition. Uh, the outdoor terrace was left at the setback 15 feet and from what I gathered uh, it was in very poor condition so they have uh, tore it down and now they would like to put the uh, that was also enclosed at, sus at a subsequent uh, time <coughs> so they had like a jot in the rear uh, building line they have since knocked down the, 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 the terrace that was erected in 75 and they are planning to do a Florida room addition to the back of the house, which you have the plans for, but they would like to continue the building line of the first addition. Which was the 11 foot three setback? Yes. And then is there a new setback on the right, an eight foot? Say that again? Is the, on the, along the right it side of the property line, is that eight foot new side setback? Is that in what's the setback that, on the on, the on right that side? side? It's uh, 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 seven and a half feet or, or ten percent or ten percent of the lot. Okay. Okay. So eight, so eight, so eight feet would not be any variance. No, there's no, no variance for that. It's, okay. it's uh, just the allowed the rear building, building line. Okay. And then so the the what right. family room just to be clear on the plan submitted by the applicant what they designated the family room that's what was originally approved uh, with the 11 three setback correct correct right. so then it'll be the two new bedrooms and bathroom that's uh, that's going to be at 11 three that they wish to continue at 11 three your name and address for yes that? my name is Rafael Padilla you can lower it Rafael Padilla I'm the architect of records for the project and represent the owner and uh, he just told you the whole story much better than I could because I didn't know the story of the, uh, the building. Well, I, I dug up the old property file. <laughs> That's what I gathered from the timeline that I, I saw I, that they I, did. I understand and appreciate that. Now, uh, in reality, as a young family, uh, they're growing, they have children, and they have no space. And they wish to, to have another bedroom with a bathroom and, and a closet. That's everybody else in life. Now, uh, we have tried to just keep what we've been approved by the city, as he certainly did uh, indicate. And uh, I don't have much things to say, just... Uh, Again, we notified 500 radius feet around the property uh, of this variance hearing tonight. Okay, are your clients present in the... I am the architect of records. Uh, uh, but your my, clients my are clients. present, right? Yes, sir. Okay, that's the gentleman back there. That's the owner. Okay. Take uh, your name and address for the record, sir. Yeah, if you want to... He's a new property owner. He just bought the property. Okay, we like to meet our new neighbors. So if you can say my your name and address for the record. Alexander Delgado, and my address is 6291 Southwest 16th Terrace. My wife wouldn't be here tonight, but she's with the little girls. <laughs> uh, we understand. Okay. Um, does anybody uh, from the audience wish to speak on this item? Uh, Oh, okay, there you go. And again, all the residents in the 
500 feet radius, yes, sir. radius, we're notified. Uh, any uh, comments from the board? Nope. You, you have to open it up or are we? Are no, we this is not a public hearing. No, correct? no. Oh, okay. It's just a variance. Okay. Okay. Notification is made by, by mailing the 500 feet. Make a motion to approve. I second. Okay. On the motion, uh, Diana Rio? Yes. Hiberto Gonzalez? Yes. I vote yes. It's been approved. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. And your plans, I believe, are almost approved. So call me tomorrow and I'll let you know where the status of the plans are. Next item on your agenda is very variance hearing at agenda item number three, property address 5990 Southwest 16th Ter Street. Isael Hernandez, applicant is requesting a variance to legalize an existing accessory aluminum roof structure, 29 feet by 14 feet with an exterior side setback of five feet where a 15 feet setback is required by ordinance. The property has 70 7,050 square feet, and the applicant is requesting to keep the existing aluminum structure on the exterior side setback for recreational purposes. Your name and address for the record. Uh, yeah, uh, my name is Cesar Hernandez. Uh, I live in 1590 Southwest Street. Okay, thank you. And this was, Mr. Pena, was uh, installed without a permit? Or yes. yes. So this is an after the fact. And that's a uh, uh, six inches setback from the... The present columns are six inches off, off the property line. And we would require 15 feet. That's correct. Wow. Okay. And... You have drawings there that show moving the columns inward in order to achieve the five foot setback that they're requesting. The structure is uh, too big to, to support uh, as a uh, cantilevered off the, off the wall of the house, so it has to have some columns somewhere, or it has to be removed, one of the two. Correct. Again, we notified 500 radius feet around the property. Okay. Do you have a picture of what this looks like um, right now? Um, It's this area here? Right. No, the white, the white. Ooh. Yeah, the property line is actually out here. It's just that when you go to the county right. website, it's off. Okay. Facility. You don't have a picture of the facade of what, what no, the, is there a fence in here? I mean, it looks like there's a fence in the survey, but. You have a fence there, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have a fence. A chain link fence? Uh, no, a wood fence. Wood fence. And that, the, Mr. Pena, just out of curiosity, that wood fence would not be allowed today, correct? That's correct. If, if they had to replace it, they would have to go with an ornamental. Correct. An ornamental type fence. Okay. And Mr. Pena, no matter what size uh, awning or uh, canopy roof, uh, it still has to maintain the 15 feet from the side property line. The the, the supporting columns. The yes. supporting columns. So it could be uh, freeze attached to the it wall. It could be freeze uh, 
say you want to put a five foot or a ten foot e uh, aluminum uh, in a uh, cantilever uh, situation, you could. As long as it meets the wind loads and C is correct. designed by an engineer and inspected by the city correct. Um, building department. My concern on this one is that it faces the street. I have I share the same concern and as I, well. I wish I could see a little bit more to make a determination. Maybe they could replace the fence, or maybe, you know, I like I feel like I don't have enough information to, to well, uh, make the, a determination. You're, you're I mean, I they're in violation of the code, right? At present time, yes. 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 We, we couldn't go um, the way I see things unfortunately they are um, in violation of the existing code uh, it's unfortunate that it was installed uh, without having uh, at least approached the city to find out what can be built there and I really don't see a hardship in this case and we have to respect the zoning code because yeah. uh, that could set a precedence then for additional a, a lot of other homeowners are going to want the same oh, thing yeah, and it yeah. defeats the aesthetic purposes of our of our code um, so I'm really leaning in favor uh, in favor of not approving this as it stands uh, right now or as it is presented to us I, I have to agree with that what would be the setback on the other side if they were to flip it to the other side where it's the I guess I don't know the interior side of the property again it's seven it's seven and a half feet it's seven and a half feet. or ten percent of the lot but it's not visible from the street or as visible from the street if they were to flip it to this side not a good picture but that's i was looking for it right now oh, you know, it's <laughs> okay google. that's what google has yeah. that's the the roof structure which is this right here. right and then the, that's the that's starting the wood of fence. the wood fence correct so it's metal up to a point and then it turns correct. into a wood fence that's right yeah, uh, pick it in the front, and then it turns into a wood fence. Mm -hmm. Which is, and then uh, as you stated, Mr. Pena, if it's seven and a half feet free or cantilever, yeah, no five feet columns, avoid that the would be allowed. It's five feet to avoid the fence. The fence, you know. Say that again. It's it's five feet to avoid the fence. Yes. Or, yeah. The columns are five feet yeah. from the fence. Yeah. It's so Oh, so you already moved the columns? What? No, we haven't done anything. No, because uh, we have to... Go ahead. Then what we put in the plants is what we're, you know, That's if we can do. That's the way it is right now. Maybe what we they can, can do, do after. Okay. I'm sorry? Can you go on this side so I can see the side up there? Sure. Yeah, yeah. the That's great. He's on that. We're Googling it. <laughs> See, that you, um, we're looking at the picture, and it is uh, highly visible uh, from from the street. Actually, both uh, corners. Yeah. And again, the intent of this of the code, as it was written, was to specifically prevent a structure like that um, because they are deemed to be not well, aesthetically it's pleasing. Not, it, I don't think, I don't think it's the the code violation is that. It's just that the, the violation is that the you have a structure within the setback, right? Correct. So yeah. it's not that's uh, that's uh, that's that's the true. bottom line. Um, I mean, because he could have a an engineered overhanging structure that's attached to the wall. Correct. And that would be within the code. Yeah, because uh, we don't have a limit on the size of an overhang. Right. So it's just the the columns that are within the setback on a fixed structure. Okay. Um, 
I guess if, if your engineer could come back perhaps and maybe redesign it, reinforce it where the columns uh, would not be, what would be, uh, Mr. Pena, an acceptable distance again, the columns from the side, from the property line? No, for columns you need 15 feet. No, 15 can't. feet, so you can't have any columns at all. Okay, no, um, and I believe they looked at cantilevered and it's too big of a structure for that. Correct? Okay. That's been the term already. A ver, igual well, con haciéndolo eh, tipo, eh, estilo it's awning y no puede ser. No. no. It's But too it's big. Not, it's too big. Yeah. Okay, then. Well, any. No, we, we, we have to go by what the, the what code. The code is. Any you open the no, it's no. Not, this is not a public no, hearing. It's, it's a variance no. hearing, but they're, they're, they're here as neighbors, I believe. Neighbors. Okay. Um, well, any motion? Uh, I, I, I make a motion not to approve because it, it would be in violation of the code. I second. Uh, madam, you have to go out to the podium, please. Identify yourself. My name is Alicia Alonso. I'm at 5949 Southwest 16 Terrace, and I've been in the city since 1964. I'm going to be 58 this year. I came to the city when I was five, and I go by there when I walk, and I hear their children laughing back there, and, and it's the best feeling. And you know, they put it up, made a mistake, but can you leave it up for them? I mean, it's um, great to hear the kids back there. They're protected from the sun. They're in a safety zone. I, for the kids. I, I understand that, but uh, we have to go by. And they're what great the neighbors. I, no, I understand. And, and I live five, five me, houses me, from Madam, uh, Mr. Chair, if there is a motion on the table. You right, have there, to there is a motion. motion on the table. Um, we understand that. Uh, Ma'am, um, but there is a motion, and I thought I heard a I second. second. I second that. And, and I, there is a motion and a second. Uh, on the motion, Ms. Uh, Rio? Yes. And Mr. Yes Gonzalez? To deny, right? yes. yes, yes to deny. Right. Uh, and I vote yes as well. To deny. To deny. Okay. We're sorry, but um, that that is Thank what, what. Thank you. The zoning code is uh, perhaps if you can redesign something a little smaller uh, and that'll provide uh, shade uh, to your children uh, and, may, and submit it um, to Mr. Pena. Always discuss uh, any proposed um, improvements that you wish to do on your property. It's always a good idea to touch base uh, with the city staff to make yeah. sure what is and isn't allowed and whether or not any permits are required. But perhaps maybe you can downsize it and maybe a little smaller and 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 it'll still provide the uh, shade that I know it's so important. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. All right, thank you. And thank you, ma'am. Thank you. That will be the last item on your agenda tonight, sir. Okay, the City of West Miami Planning and Zoning Board meeting of February 23rd, 2016 is now adjourned. It is 8.20 p.m. for the record. Thank you. Thank you. The problem with that is you, you approve one, and then everybody else who lives on a corner like Huberto will want one. Oh, you got that tree there? I can't see it. I'm gonna have to Google your property. I don't understand. I don't understand how people, how people today, day and age, do.